Pyoderma gangrenosum is a rare autoimmune disease, often mistaken for very different conditions. While patients with certain kinds of autoimmune disease feel like they are sometimes not taken seriously because their symptoms may not appear to make them ill, sometimes even to their own providers. Pyoderma gangrenosum is quite the opposite. Pyoderma gangrenosum is a type of rare neutrophilic dermatosis. Pyoderma gangrenosum lesions often start off as small injuries but rapidly progress to large ulcerative lesions. They often appear to be acutely infected and are even mistaken for necrotizing fasciitis, but they don't actually result from a serious or progressive infection. Quite the contrary. As a neutrophilic dermatosis, pyoderma gangrenosum arises when a neutrophilic attack occurs on the body by the body. One of the most frequent sites for pyoderma gangrenosum is the lower leg and the small red papule or pustule that starts off the wound appears in some cases to be an insect bite, but isn't actually an insect bite. Because surgical debridement is unsuccessful and the wound may appear infected, amputations have been mistakenly performed on some patients. Pyoderma gangrenosum most commonly appears in middle-aged patients and most frequently occurs with female patients. Around half of patients with pyoderma gangrenosum have another systemic disease, often an autoimmune disease or a hematologic disorder. One of the most common associations is with irritable bowel diseases, such as Crohn's disease. Pyoderma gangrenosum has been rarely observed in younger children, and the lesions often occur in a more extensive distribution across the body when this does happen. The histopathology of pyoderma gangrenosum is typically characterized by neutrophilic invasion at least near the edge of the wound. Patients with pyoderma gangrenosum demonstrate pathogy. Minor trauma or surgical debridement of the wound leads to more extensive development of lesions. Exclusion of infection is demonstrated before the diagnosis of pyoderma gangrenosum. Because pyoderma gangrenosum occurs as an autoimmune disease, rather than treating it as an infection with powerful antibiotics, Patients are given immunosuppressants. Common treatments include corticosteroids like prednisone, immunosuppressives like cyclophosphamide, and biologics that target components of the immune activation, such as anti-TNF agents like infliximab, inhibitors of complement factor C5A, and inhibitors of specific interleukins, such as IL-1, 17, and 23. Treatment also involves wound care, and pain management for the patient. Unfortunately, studies have shown up to 56% recurrence. For a literature review and treatment options, please see the links. Pyoderma gangrenosum represents a painful disease, a need of further research, and highlights one of the fascinating problems with the body's mechanisms of self-regulation and the distributed autonomy seen in a multicellular organism. This highlights the need to understand the source of autoimmune pathogenesis. We can hope for a future when autoimmune diseases are less and less frequently cited as idiopathic.